I'm Andre, and from Hobby King and H King is the F4U Corsair. This is the third uh, Warbird in their 750 millimeter wingspan series, and <laughs> spec-wise, yeah, 750 millimeter wingspan, length of 610, flying weight about 420 grams. It does have a uh, 2204 1300 kV motor, which is spinning this lovely three-bladed prop. 20 amp ESC, 49 gram servos, and will work really nice with a uh, 3S800 milliamp battery and uh, you do need a minimum of five channels I'm putting in a six channel DSMX re uh, receiver and using my DX9 um, there is a gyro so stay tuned to the end of the video this is going to pertain to the initial batch but there is a technical amendment that I'm going to put at the end of the video price wise you're looking at about a hundred dollars sub hundred dollars and on the initial batch I was told it's going to be even less so enough of me talking let's start unboxing this H King F4U Okay, I've been looking forward to opening this thing up for a good couple of days. Sneaked in and I had a look. Let's just put that box up there out of the way. In the box, you will see a very nice size. I actually kind of like the 750 millimeter size plane. Uh, they store nicely. They, you can take a multiple to the park and obviously the 3S800 battery has become very economical over the last couple of years. So uh, I'm only using a little 20 amp, uh, 20 amp, 20 milliamp or 20C, there you go, speak uh, tech. And uh, it's not too, uh, they're not too aggressive price wise. So there we go, here's the wing. Uh, it is a very nicely molded piece of equipment. Actually, that's that's actually pretty darn good looking. Uh, and looks like it just pins in on one screw in the back. You've got spots for your landing gear and uh, drop tanks, which I'll show you here in a sec. So there's to your two nine gram servos, no flaps. This kind of airframe does, airplane does not need it. Look at that, uh, there's your access. All your uh, flight controls go in through here, and this one does have a stabilizer in the bottom, so obviously it's a real simple pop the wing in, locate those spots, put put a screw into the belly, and, and you're off. Uh, it's got a three-bladed prop, uh, and I said, like I said, nice motor, uh, pretty decent cowl. Obviously, it's got a little bit of offset there, but that looks pretty Pretty darn good. Don't know if the prop is compatible with the other planes props uh, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to land this thing with the landing gear or sorry fly this thing with the landing gear on or not but I suspect I will because I don't want to break up the prop which does look pretty darn cool. In the box you get an assortment of missiles. Uh, looks like there is some velcro. Uh, your various screws and connectors for your tail section. Your main screw for the wing and uh, another piece of Velcro for, uh, I would assume, your battery patch. So we'll have to see how that looks. We have landing gear, which I think I am going to run with it. I Since by the time I get this thing flying, I've got a feeling that it will be flying off the parking lot uh, into the winter, because, well, it's winter now. Oh, drop tanks. Those look pretty darn cool. Those are nice. Uh, if I don't fly it with the landing gear, I suspect I will insert the drop tanks and uh, oh, look at that, even notched for the servo wires and just really, uh, I may not even uh, glue these in, it's hard to say, but that goes in quite cleanly. And that way, if I do decide not to fly it with landing gear, I can land it really well. There's your rudder section it looks like it's just got a little hook uh, and the servo is obviously run in and attaches oh this is how the whole mechanism attaches to uh, the tail gear oh if you I don't know if I'll be able to pick this up on the camera but there's a little catch inside there so this should technically just drop in I will um, have to verify oh no you want to put the tail in I'm doing this all Line of sight, uh, nice. There's no glue in the package, so I will probably use some foam tack and set this up. Oh yeah, that sits in nice and clean. And then this goes in and just captures the other spot. I'm just dry fitting right now for the sake of just putting this together and making it operational. And then I will come back afterwards and 
apply some glue and this plane will be ready to go. There are two connectors there for the ailerons. Um, I'm just gonna go in, plug them in, and then I will hook in my receiver and I'll find out really quickly if I've got my ailerons backwards. It looks like it makes sense to try and get all that wiring into the back of the airplane. As far in as possible, there's a nice cavity in there and if you're not interfering with any of your tail servos, it's a pretty simple exercise. Don't, uh, you don't have to pressure it, you don't have to harm it. Look at that, nice, simple, clean, it sits well. Uh, I like the color too. Something to glue afterwards in the package. Put that in, so like I said, I'm gonna come back with foam tack after I have it assembled. Uh, looks like you've got some spare clevises and so forth uh, for your wing controls. Uh, they're all installed. Looks like everything was installed, so it's nice that they include a couple spares. Ooh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Where's that canopy cover? That's got a little magnets. Ooh. You have to appreciate just the detail of, even with the scale, and it's... It's very light. The longest part of the whole process. That's really impressive, actually. I really like the look of that. Okay, powering through this thing real quick. Six channel receiver. Uh, I mean, you can basically run anything you've got. Uh, I've just picked this one. I had my mode switch on number six. All of them are labeled, which is super. There's my throttle. And one more, that's my elevator, perfect. A little micro receiver would be absolutely phenomenal, but look at that, that'll slide down in there. I guess the idea is to get out of the way of the battery and not interfere with the, um, with your uh, ESC and everything. So for testing purposes, I have already set up the model. Alright, H-King Corsair, I have my throttle lock, and then my mode switch. I haven't done any rates yet, but my rates will be over here, and obviously i got to program up the timer and the voice, so it's all logical. The CG is 45 millimeters from the leading edge. That puts it roughly right in line, oh that's really nice, right in line with those servo wires. So that's that's handy to know. Uh, and that on the top side, if you want to do your CG from above, is pretty well on these two spots right here, I would say. And, oh no, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect with that little 500 uh, sitting forward. Let's run this thing up. Nice pool, nice pool, and cool, nice little airplane. Okay, it's technical amendment time. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there is a small problem with the initial batch of stabilizers. So Hobby King is included in every box of the initial batch aircraft, only the initial batch, a instruction manual. Uh, I'll flip this thing up in color. Mine is printed off black and white, but it's, in board. it's inside the box and it comes along with 
a replacement stabilizer which works properly. I'll show you what it looks like when it doesn't work properly and then I'll show you what it looks like when it does and talk you through how to replace this guy. It's super simple. In each container you'll have a brand new stabilizer with a sticky back on it and a couple zip ties and you just simply follow the instructions and I'm going to show you what the working stabilizer looks like and then we'll dive into how you replace this thing. Really simple. Do not be intimidated by this process. Anybody who owns a stabilized aircraft is completely familiar with that startup sequence. You let the aircraft do its little checks and everything, and then to activate the stabilizer, you have to run the motor. So right now, if it's not running, if it hasn't been run, nothing. So holding onto my aircraft, I run the prop up. And there's that, and I lock my prop. And So there I am in full stabilized mode, there's an intermediate, and then there's no stabilization at all. Sorry, no correction. Uh, it has stabilization on, enabled, but then I also can have a fully assisted mode for learning pilots to help stabilize the aircraft. So there you go. That's that explanation of how the equipment works. So right now, it's doing a lot of stuff. I will remove my wing, but if you haven't assembled this aircraft already, this stuff you don't have to worry about. With the wing off, the removal operation is really simple. Uh, clip the existing zip tie. I use some denaturalized alcohol with a uh, cotton swab to knock down mine, which was hot glued. The new stabilizer will come with a piece of backing tape on it, adhesive uh, double-sided backing tape. So you clean that area up, you stick it back into position, get it all straight. You'll see there's actually a little divot in the plastic, sorry, in the wood uh, piece that helps you locate it. I added some hot glue to make sure mine was extra secured and then used the zip tie that was included in the package. Everything comes with a handy instruction set which tells you how to do it and it's super easy to wire this. Do not be intimidated by it. There's aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder and they all correspond. The first one obviously is your aileron on your Y cable. The next one is your elevator which is one of the servos in the bay. If you wiggle it, if you get confused, if you wiggle it you'll see your elevator move back here and then you have your throttle wire that's coming off your ESC and then you have your rudder which is the other servo in the belly. Once you have everything secure and locked down you route your cables through and these are the cables that run to your receiver and you're off. It is a five minute operation. It's so simple to do and you can fly without the stabilizer if you don't want if you don't want it in there but it just makes the 750 mil aircraft um, really work well in the wind so again i don't see why you wouldn't do it uh this will be done this only has to be done for the first batch the initial batch of aircraft everything else will be corrected and the stabilizer will be perfect from factory so there you go so easy <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said this thing was super simple to put together. Honestly, the longest process of the whole build was putting in those two retaining screws that hold the landing gear in. It's such a nice, well-designed little aircraft. and. Do not fret about the stabilizer. As I pointed out in that in the video, it's super simple to swap it over. You actually don't need the stabilizer, so if you don't want to run it, you don't have to. But in the wind, it will help calm things down. Uh, this one is my favorite out of the three that have been released in the 750 millimeter range from H King. Uh, and if you have any stock of three S 800s under $100, why would you not want to consider adding this one to your fleet? I love the fact that these 750 mil planes are easy to transport, they're super light, and very easy to take care of, to be honest. So, um, I can't wait to get this thing out flying, so stay tuned for that flight review. We'll get out there as soon as possible in the snow. Oh well. Um, I'm Andre, this is the HK F4U Corsair. Thanks for watching.